the Dylan. Is that you that did that? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Dylan, why are you not eating all the bread? Because all the bread is nasty. This is all bread. Not scientific. Well, this isn't about science. This is about mommy is unemployed now. And so I'm going to need for you to eat all the bread until mommy can find somebody with food stamps. Okay? Because it doesn't make mommy feel good to see her. This is like 35 cents worth of bread. Y'all have 35 cents. But not on the 25th, I won't, because I don't have any money coming in. But what I'm telling you, we can do a lot with this bread. Even if you're not going to eat the bread, we can make French toast sticks with this bread. Croutons for our next salad with this bread. I can do it like this and put it in the meatloaf. We can do a lot with this, Dylan, okay? We can also feed a family of squirrels with that crust. I'm gonna let you make it this time. Hey, y'all. Ah, well, it's day whatever without a new job. <laughs> and part of my, oh, dang. Now, you know I made a to-do list, and part of my to-do list is to shop more frugal. You, you know, need some tips on how to shop frugal. Keep watching me, because that's I'm Miss Frugal Franny right here. You know, I'm used to going into the store and balling out on a cinnamon toast crunch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to getting the sour cream, the kind that you squeeze, oh. not the kind that you spoon. That's an extra 85 cent. That's upper echelon. Just so you can squeeze the sour cream. That's what I'm used to. Now you gotta scoop it, it's all right. Ooh, that's okay, you are right. Ain't nothing wrong with Taco scooping. Tuesday, we scooping sour cream out. Hey. And it still get on the taco. It does. It's a little more messy, but it still gets there, okay? I used to buy Eglin's best. But now I'm gonna start buying green cartridge. And it's still an egg. It's still an egg. It's an egg. But it's a jobless egg. What's the decision? I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm used to McCormick, but this great value right here is only like 33 cents and I don't know what to do. I mean, the box is empty. It looks like it's a hit I know. Though. It's a know. hit. I don't care how many jobs I lose. I will never not buy Earl Campbell's. You can never get me to buy another brand. And that's the truth. Some things you just don't cheat on. I feel like I should get this chocolate bun cake because I'm still going through things. I really need chocolate to help me. Even though I don't, I'm really strong, but. No one's stronger than chocolate. I feel like I should get this. That way, I ain't gotta come back for a while. And we're gonna take Taco Tuesday to Taco Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm just cutting corners. Now, oh, I did go to the orthopedic surgeon. Remember I told y'all I was gonna get my meniscus fixed? Mm -hmm. He told me I didn't need my meniscus fixed. What do you need? He said it was my ACL. He <laughs> was like, <laughs> You are too old to be fixing that. You ain't playing no football. You ain't running no track. He said that. Yeah. He basically said, fuck your ACL. He said, yeah, it's too old to fix. He ain't got shit for your ACL. They don't got nothing. Mm -hmm. It's 2020. He told me just do some physical therapy. Wow. Oh. I told him, I said, well, you know, I know a couple of exercises where I got to get on my knees. Wow. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, so I don't need my meniscus fixed. Okay, plot twist. Plot twist. And now... I'm starting to feel hairs under my chin. Oh. You know, I've been on the radio when I was doing afternoons. Mm -hmm. I was a representative for Ideal Image. So I went in, I got my chin done, I got my lip done, I got my underarms done, I got everything done. Like, I'm very hairy. I even had my areola done. Ladies, wow. you, might, you might not admit to it, but some women grow hair around the areola. Everybody does. Well, some, mine got caught in a, my man, two point time. Oh, you was growing a forest. In about that long. Mm -hmm. So I need to call Ideal Image. Coco. Hi, Ideal Image. Coco speaking. How can I help you? Hi. This is Vita Loca. Oh my God, from the radio? Yes. I'm calling to see if I should get some more laser hair removal, but. 
you know, I'm not with 97.9 anymore. And I was wondering, is it still going to be free? I'm sure you're on our list still. Let me go check for you, Vita. One second. All right. Woo, I swear, I, plead, I hope and pray that they're able to get me in there for free. But, you know, I just feel like, you know how they say somebody needs to hear this? I feel like I want to be a little motivational because I know I'm not the only person in 2020 to have lost a job. Period. Um, period, poo. Mm -hmm. And going to be the last. And matter of fact, iHeartRadio, they laid off practically 15, 1,600 people the past two weeks. So I just want to say to my fellow radio brethren, brethren, you know what I mean? Bros. My radio bros. It'll be okay. I'm going to tell you, like everybody texted me, when one door closes, mm -hmm. another one always opens. Yeah. What the <laughs> was that? I closed the door. Dang, you scared the shit out of me. I'd rather hear a door opening. Matter of fact, stop closing doors around here. I'm not crying, it's just the onion. Needless to say, please stay motivated. No matter what you're going through in life. Got to. You got to stay motivated. You got to stay prayed up. Mm -hmm. Laid up. Down. Laid up. Hopefully with a man. I'm and not. paid up. And paid. No, ain't nobody getting money today. Right? We are. We got to put it out. How manifest. Oh, okay. manifest. Got to stay paid up. Hey, oh. hey, hey, hey. Somehow. Okay, I ain't making no money yet, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to celebrate that right now. Hello? Oh. Hey, girl. So, what'd they say? Bad news. They took you off the list yesterday. I kind of. Dang. I kind of figured that yeah. was going to happen. But that's all right, though. That. I'm good. I'll just go to Walmart okay. and give me a razor. But let me ask you a quick question, though. Does stress cause hair to grow excessively, like, overnight? Oh, yeah, at a very yeah. rapid rate. Yeah, yeah. very fast. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm experiencing that right now. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you for trying anyway, girl. And I enjoyed all the years that I was getting free laser hair removal. I love y'all forever. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Well, there's that. But if you know anybody who gives away free laser hair removal, why don't you hit me up and I can come see you for free, maybe. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I said. <laughs> Remember, always keep a smile on your face. And to the lady I saw in Walmart today, no, I am not Steve Harvey. <laughs>